Prince Harry's unforgivable sin makes it easy for Charles to turn his back on him, the damage was already done, claims a royal author, referring to Prince Harry's revelations in his explosive memoir Spare. A royal author has claimed the Duke of Sussex committed one unforgivable sin which makes it easy for his father to turn his back on his son, Christopher Anderson, the author of The King, The Life of Charles III, told Fox News he was not surprised the Duke would not be seeing his father for the monarch's 75th birthday celebrations, Anderson revealed, my feeling is that Charles can so easily turn his back on Harry because Harry committed the one unforgivable sin. Harry dissed Camilla in his book. Spare, branding her a villain. On November 14, King Charles celebrated his milestone 75th birthday. Throughout speculation on whether Prince Harry would be attending any birthday celebrations, Harry's representative said that there has been no contact regarding an invitation to His Majesty's upcoming birthday, according to outlet, The Messenger. Speaking about Prince Harry's explosive memoir, Mr. Anderson said, he could have trashed, Prince, William and the monarchy all he wanted, but King Charles is wildly, blindly devoted to Queen Camilla. King Charles III angers easily, and he holds grudges, Harry's book, which was published in January 2023, accused his stepmother of leaking private conversations to burnish her own reputation. The Duke of Sussex also said that he and his older brother, William, begged their father not to marry Camilla for fear she would become a wicked stepmother. The royal author further stated on Fox News, the fact that Harry and Meghan weren't even invited to the King's milestone 75th birthday really speaks volumes about just how irreconcilable the Sussexes and the Windsors are, you can only burn bridges so many times. King Charles had a busy birthday, after the day included two official engagements, launching a food charity project and a reception for nurses and midwives at Buckingham Palace, in the evening. Dozens of guests gathered at Clarence House for a birthday dinner, which included close friends. The Prince and Princess of Wales and Princess and were also expected to attend.